Hello and welcome. In the screencast, we'll take a look at the VLOOKUP function and how to calculate it. The VLOOKUP function is a very handy tool that can help automate a lot of your calculations. In this little example, let's say you want to compute um, the interest rate that's applicable to each customer that's borrowing a certain loan amount. Um, that's going to be repaid over a certain number of years. So for example, customer one borrows 200,000 and plans to repay that over 10 years. So what's the interest rate? You have here an interest rate table for each number of years for which you wish to repay, a customer wishes to repay, the corresponding interest is given in this table. And you want a way to somehow look up this interest from this table and put that in here. So what you would do here is to put the interest for somebody who plans to repay in 10 years, you would look that up here and say for 10 years, the interest rate is 3.75%. So let me just put 3.75%. For 30 years, it's 4.25% and so on. But if you have a lot of records, this sort of method gets quickly um, uh, tedious. So you want a shortcut and that's exactly what the VLOOKUP function does for you. So if you want to use a VLOOKUP function to solve this problem, what you would do is type in VLOOKUP and uh, the first um, argument or value that you pass it is a lookup value which is this right here so you want to look up the interest for the 10 year number here so that's a lookup value the table array would be this array right here so note that I'm selecting from the top left of the table to the bottom right of the table notice that I exclude the title at the top you don't need to include that in your lookup and Oh, sorry, wait a minute. So equals V lookup. First number of years, comma, and then I include the table. And here what I do is I just press F4 and I press F4 here as well. And the reason for that is because as I copy this formula to the other cells, I want this range to remain fixed. I don't want the range to change. So I need to put a dollar sign before the B and the two and the C and the four. Okay, next I put a comma and the third one is the column index number. So what is the value in this table that I need to put here and what is the column index of that value? The column index starts from one and two and if there were more columns that would be three, four and so on. But here it is two. So I'm just going to put the number two here and uh, Finally, um, the last value is a true or false statement that I need to put. If you are okay with an approximate match, you can put true or leave it blank. Or if you want an exact match, then you put a false here. An exact match basically means that if the numbers here, 10, 30, 15, and 10, are, if, if any of these numbers does not exist in this table, then that's when the question of exact versus fuzzy match comes in. If a number here exists that is not in this table, then if you select it true, then your VLOOKUP function will try to do a fuzzy match. Now, in this case, we want to do an exact match. And so we're going to put false. And that completes the formula. So you can see how for 10 years, an interest rate of 3.75 has been chosen from this table here. Now I can just copy, drag this uh, fill handle on the bottom right all the way down to the bottom or I can also double click on this and that copies the formula as well. And you can see that for each um, you know, number of years, 30, you have the corresponding 4.25 and for 15, you have 4% and so on. So it has, be has been copied faithfully from this table by means of the VLOOKUP function. The other thing I want you to notice is that this, the order in which these values appear in the table um, in which you're doing the lookup is important. In this case, the years have been or, uh, arranged in the ascending order. That means the lowest number appears at the top and the highest number appears at the bottom. That order is important. You have to have the values in the ascending order for the VLOOKUP function to work. So that's a short introduction. Hopefully uh, clarifies the concept of a VLOOKUP. I hope you enjoyed this watching this uh, video. Thanks for watching.